Welcome back to another episode of Flying and Dying, guys. Today we're reviewing the Turkish Airlines A330 business class. They did have a designated check-in and a fast track uh, security point. And now we're going to see the VIP lounge. And it's called Fibeles in the Madrid Barajas T1 terminal. Um, this is not my favorite lounge. They don't have the best food options. In fact, they don't have hot options. It's all pre-packaged sandwiches and very low quality cold cuts, I'd say. There's a lot of salad options, nuts, olives. The alcohol selection was decent, but this was a very early morning flight and I was not interested in any alcohol. But the views are great. I, I love going to this terminal because you see a lot of weird airlines I'm not used to here in the States. But here's a little more of the lounge. It's very spacious. There's a lot of space compared to other lounges um i must say but yeah just salads everywhere and low quality cold cuts everything it's not self-service they have to serve you um and they were a little intense about the mask usage even when you're sitting down like they expect you to eat drink and put your mask right back on i'm just not used to that but just like all yeah. other terminals in madrid there's a lot of duty freeze nice stores there's not a lot of food options though. There's Burger King and stuff like that. So if you're hungry, eat before flying. And here we are boarding to Istanbul. There was a designated business class check-in, very efficient. And now let's enter the big bird. If you do want to fly on the 3.30 to Istanbul from Madrid, be careful because there's two flights. The 12 p.m. flight is at 3.30, but make sure you check when you're booking your flight it'll let you know there and it's not the first time it's happened to me they switched the aircraft on me but there's nothing no worries, thank on you. this flight though i was lucky here we are boarding this is the old business class configuration in a 222 but i personally loved it because you know it's gonna go out of service very soon it's very spacious but it's definitely not the best if you're looking for privacy but if you're looking to travel with a companion it's great and I, I don't know, I just love the open concept that they have. But as you can see here, if you're trying to watch a show, the person right next to you is going to see it. They handed all of us this hygiene kit. It had masks, Germex, or Purell, or hand sanitizer. I'm not sure how you say it in your country. And some more views. Very spacious, tons of leg room. Spot for your shoes, for your carry-on which most new business classes they do have but you feel kind of cramped now the table was a little rough to get out very heavy but very spacious i'll show you guys the menu now and all that good stuff so here's the menu everything was passed out super quick you have usb ports you're able to charge your phone i, I didn't show that in the video but you could charge your phone with the regular outlet they passed out headphones everything in I don't know disinfected bags and the crew guys was so friendly i cannot reiterate how friendly they were this is what was inside of the hygiene kit as i mentioned the crew was amazing and the service was out of this world these are their welcome drinks they're like freshly pressed juices they're non-alcoholic uh i got the raspberry the lemonade and i think i got another one at some point in the flight very very delicious the safety video was very cute it was just a little annoying because they put it in turkish and spanish and in english but i guess for all travelers um it works the seat controls as you can see it's a little outdated but when you see the bed in bed mode it was so comfortable this is the privacy divider it doesn't do much unless you're like laying down but still a nice touch that over there is the t4 terminal most one world flights um emirates as well fly out of there it's beautiful don't judge madrid by the t1 airport the t4 airport is absolutely amazing so if you are flying out of madrid try to get an airline that flies out of there 
and now we're making our way to the runway so as always i'll let you guys enjoy the takeoff and i'll be back with you guys as soon as we are at cruising altitude So it's very nice that on a medium haul flight they pass out menus. They're a lot smaller than the international long haul flights. There was the option of beef or fish. Thankfully I'm traveling with a companion so I'll be able to show you both. Um, the appetizer was typical Turkish meze which you guys will see now. And I got the beef as I said. <clears throat> and the service was absolutely amazing. Now the IFE system was also great. They had tons of options. Um, the screen was nice and big. The headphones were phenomenal. I think on this flight I watched... Um, I forgot. What did I watch on this flight? Oh, I watched The Quiet Place, but I completely knocked out. So this mez or meze, excuse me if I'm pronouncing it wrong, had hummus, great leaves, eggplant, yogurt. This was the salmon. It was it was delicious. And then this was the steak. It was a little hot and complicated to take off, but the steak was super tender. The rice was delicious. It was buttered rice. I did not leave anything on my plate. Now the bed was extremely comfortable it's i don't think it's 180 degrees live flat but it's a good 178 live flat so it did the job very comfortable wide enough now this is a medium haul flight so we didn't get the bedding as some long haul flights but it was very comfortable they had extra pillows blankets the crew was i give the crew a 10 out of 10. i mean turkish airlines is known for their amazing business class service i think they've won top business class service many many times i'd even compare them to qatar airways in service and this is a hot tea i ordered we took off from the window seat 
but I wanted to sit in the middle, so did my companion, so that we were more comfortable. of the video you guys will enjoy the views of the approach into istanbul it was kind of a crappy day it was rainy it was gloomy but you can enjoy that for the next couple of minutes and what do i think of turkish airlines a330 business class i think it's amazing the service is amazing the food was great the ife was great there was really nothing to complain about other than the lounge like i said it's not the best in my opinion but I'd give Turkish Airlines a 9 out of 10 because of the lounge. But let's say it was in T4, I'd definitely give it an 11 out of 10 because the flight was amazing, it was on time, and you know everything was super, super enjoyable. But thanks for tuning in. I'm Gonzalo Zulueta. Thanks for watching Fly and Dine. I invite you to watch all my other videos. I have American Airlines, Iberia, Air France, Delta One Suite, all in business class. And if you do want to know a little bit more about Istanbul, I am doing an Istanbul vlog and a Madrid vlog that you guys can check out. For now, thank you so much and I hope you have very happy travels this 2022.